tantrums are considered normal and common in young children, but sometimes they can be a sign of a more serious disorder. So the question is, what's a normal tantrum for a young child? Researchers from Washington University in St. Louis set out to find the answer. Whenever we're looking at symptoms in younger children, we're always trying to differentiate what is a symptom, what's a clinical symptom, from what might be a normative emotional or behavioral extreme, which we always see in younger children. So younger children are inherently more emotionally dysregulated. They have tantrums. We know that's normative. So this is why we're studying those types of features to really look at the distinction between what are normative extremes versus what is clinically significant. There are five common risk factors in tantrums that may indicate larger problems. Consistent, excessively long duration for the tantrum. A child who can't calm him or herself down after a tantrum. Children who injure themselves. Acts of aggression. And where the tantrums happen. While some of these factors are common in a normal tantrum, the key is to look for consistency. All these things, it's about consistency and, and repetition. They're doing it every time, almost every time. Um, not just every once in a while. It's, it's not uncommon um, for a healthy child to bang their head on the wall during a tantrum one time just because they lost control and are having a hard time. Any one behavior taken out of context, is, I think it's kind of dangerous to try to link it to a specific diagnosis. There is one factor, self-injury, that the research suggests is a warning flag of something that might be more serious. All that data is, is filtered down to just tantrums that included self-injurious behaviors, um, it was both groups of the, that included depressed preschoolers were much significantly more likely to have self-injured themselves during a tantrum, um, almost to the point of, on average, doing it one time per tantrum, they were hurting themselves, whereas in the healthy, typically, normally developing uh, preschoolers, um, it was something um, close to zero. If you feel there may be something more behind your child's tantrum, seek help early. If you're concerned about tantrums or other depressive-like behaviors in, in a preschool child, first of all, pediatricians are great resources to talk to, discuss the behaviors you're concerned about. Schools might have a counselor that, or someone that could refer you on. Um, I think that the important piece is just getting a, a, a you know, quality evaluation to, to um, better understand why, why, first of all, why the behavior is occurring, and then second of all, is it associated with something more serious like a psychiatric disorder.